Okay, it's roll for himbo time again. And the himbo of the week is Jack in the Box. I've actually never been to Jack in the Box. I just looked and it's like a very, very long ways away. But there's so much fan art on the internet that it's just, I gotta do it. First step is to slick my hair back. I won't make you sit through that, so. Okay, here we are, slicked and ready. Anyway, uh, I also made like a little black tip for the nose. He's got like a little cone nose and I feel like this is a little tip. Gives the cone energy without serving full cone, you know? As always with my looks, I it's basically whatever character mixed with handsome Squidward. That's it. I just love it. I'm also going to use this as an opportunity to walk you guys through how I apply my bald caps. So for this particular character, I'm going to cover my ears. Um, but if you wanted to cut your ears out of it, is to kind of put it on, mark where your ears are with like a pen or a marker. Don't go in there cutting. Mark, and take it off, cut it out and then put it back on. Just trying to cut it on yourself is very dangerous, so be safe about it. Better to have to readjust your bald cap than to, you know, cut your ear. So I like to put it on, adjust it to where I want it. And this bald cap is pretty thick because I like to make them nice and thick so that it like smooths out any lines of your hair or anything like that. It has a bit of texture so that it, you know, it looks more like skin as opposed to just like one smooth surface, which not everybody has super smooth skin. So. For this, I'm going to use a silicone based adhesive that I have. I think the one I have is from like Krylon. This one dries like very fast, so I can kind of just go in there. And when I go in to glue, I roll outward so that the edge is nice and flush. And then if you mess it up, you can just get a little bit of alcohol and it'll smooth it right out. And then if I don't want to go too far down with the adhesive, like I don't want to have to be cleaning adhesive from the back of my neck, um, I just use wig tape and just tape it down back there because my chest blade is gonna cover a lot of my neck, so I don't really have to worry too much about it. That's just to stick it down. Um, I'm gonna go over the edge with Prosade to like really blend it to give it some texture. I'll do tape in the back, just to like keep it down, just so that there's like some tension at the top so that there's like no wrinkles up here. So I use top stick because we use it at work, so I was like, well, let me just get myself a pack. So I try to avoid my baby hairs, but it's gonna happen no matter what. Tape it down, and it has a little handy dandy pull tab, so and that makes sure we're looking in the correct direction, because wherever you stick that down, that's where it's gonna go. But like I said, you know, I don't have to worry too much about it because of the chest plate. So just think about what's showing. Like, don't get too stressed out about trying to make a certain edge perfect if you don't really have to worry about it especially if you're gonna be wearing it all day like just do what's comfortable for you obviously if it's like for something important you know put the time where the time is needed so now i'm gonna use a very small textured sponge um to go around the very edge it will just help blend that edge and if you're unsure about anything always start somewhere not important like start down here you know don't start right in the middle of the face at the face if you're unsure about something do a little um bald cap asmr i kind of try to go in circles just so that it's still a random pattern and it's not just like oh this is stippled there okay so now that i have about three or four layers of the prosate adhesive around the edge. I like to go over it with the white latex I used for the bald cap. It'll just help, again, 
blend that edge. If you have it, do it. If not, it's not necessary. It's just one of those things that I like to do. So I'm walking you through my process. <laughs> you can take it or leave any of these things because there's many different ways to do a lot of makeup processes. Don't beat yourself up about it. Because at the end of the day, it's just makeup. And if you mess it up, you can do it again tomorrow. And I tint my latex using acrylic paints. I do like a little small amount just so that painting myself later is a lot easier. I don't have to worry about painting the back of my head. Even if it's not like a perfect match, it's not, you know, bald. <laughs> well, I guess it is bald. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna like take a nice, like a flat sponge with some powder. I'm gonna press it into the edges so that it's nice and flat against my skin. And anything that might have been like lifted up, it's gonna stick down. Kinda like when you block out your eyebrows and you like really press in the powder. It's like that. I'm just gonna put it on. Oh God, sticky. You know, I just kinda went in real reckless, but I think it worked out. This one, I might not go over it with the latex just because I want to keep that really sharp edge because of how the nose is. It's looking a little spooky right now. It's looking a little spooky. Now, I think I can actually start putting makeup on my face. Well, I'm going to airbrush the white onto my face, but before I do airbrush, I like to do a layer of foundation first. Because I just I like to have that barrier between the paint and my face. I think what I'm also gonna do is put a bit of white primer. The process and I are about to have some real trust issues because I'm looking real crazy right now. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. You go ahead and airbrush my face. <laughs> Look how cute my airbrush bottles are. That's all that matters. It's how cute these are. Okay. So I had a little bit of too much. I got a little trigger happy with the airbrush. And I got a little bit of bubbling on the cheek. So I'm just going on top of it with that cream I used around my eye. And just doing my highlight. The hard thing about doing a white base is that doing the highlight is going to be really hard because what's lighter than white? A whiter white. <laughs> then we can go back and do our usual contour. <laughs> Little clown man. And since I already have the highlight there, it'll be a little easier to just kind of go off of that. Square it out really, really well. And doing the highlight first is actually a really good way to like map everything out if you don't want to like commit. Because changing the highlight is a little easier than changing contour or anything else. Alright. Now that we're looking sufficiently like a handsome Squidward egg, we're going to deepen the contour a little bit. Let's work on the eyes. Uh, I forgot to record, but <laughs> I just added some shimmer to the middle and deepened the blue. So now it's time for the nose, because obviously he doesn't have eyebrows. <laughs> the nose is like eating the light. It is so dark. I think it's fun. I really like it. Honk honk. <laughs> it's time for the mouth and I'm a little nervous because it's it has to be red and it's kind of a lot. <laughs> so we're gonna go we're gonna go slow. Took our time. We're gonna be we're gonna be gentle. We're gonna be careful. Cause it can get real crazy real fast. It's gonna be crazy no matter what. Yeah. Wow. 
the camera doesn't know what to do. <laughs> there we go. Nice and sharp. Yes, yes, good, yes. Okay, let's have a sneak peek. <laughs> okay. I'm pretty happy with it. Am I feeling myself in this clown? Oh my god. Looks like it's time to get dressed. Contacts are going in absolutely last, which is hilarious because it's, I think, the part that will make it look the most like him. Okay, it's time to glue on my stupid little hat. <laughs> A little clown man. Big beefy clown man. <laughs> It's the little clown hat. <gasps> My contacts! Wait, 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 wait. Now. That's the look. <laughs> Beefy little clown man. Well, thank you for sticking around. If you're still here, I'm on my knees now. If you're still here, thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting me. That was me on my knees for you. I hope you enjoyed that. Hopefully, you'll stick around for the rest of roll for himbo if you want to see the rolling videos it'll be in my shorts or over on my tiktok so have a good one <laughs>